Hello, welcome. First of all, pat on the back for you for wanting to be more productive. Um, I get so many people sliding into my DMs about what apps I'm using and how do I stay on top of my work deadlines and also like how I invoice and do like the business side of my work. Put together a concise list of my three most used apps. Two of them are just great for like organization. This is also great for just anyone trying to keep on top of personal goals, work goals, project management, um, you know, school work, um, just in general managing your time better. I think there's going to be something in this video for you. Best bit is there isn't a wall calendar or bullet journal in sight. I'm sure people that are super organized and love journals and bullet journaling and all that, that stuff will find my way of doing things a little bit haphazard. But if you were like me and you find it physically hard to put pen to paper and carry around journals and diaries all of the time, I think this will definitely be helpful for you. My tips today are actually brought to you by my sponsor Squarespace. So if any of you guys are in the market for a beautiful new website, you can check out my personalized link squarespace.com slash tarmer for exclusive discounts and more information in the description on that. Hey, time to get comfortable. Over the years as like a one man show in terms of my business and like my work and university I've tried a lot of different things to keep on top of my workload and my personal goals and honestly it's all about just finding something that works for you and for me that's just keeping it as simple and accessible as possible and every time I show a sneak peek of this app people are like what is that app because it's a very overlooked app that comes on most Apple products you may have seen it or glanced past it if you don't want to already use it but it's the reminders app it generally looks like a to-do list do not worry if you don't have this exact app or Apple product products like every operating you know technology system is going to have a reminders app or a to-do list something similar so just use what you have I just like Apple products on the day-to-day -day. I think they sync up really nicely I have my reminders app um, linked through my iCloud both on my laptop and on my phone so when one updates the other updates and I think that's so helpful down the side there's a sidebar where I keep all of the different lists that I have and the first one is usually 2018 goals like this is where I put my big personal goals for the year whether it be you know business or work my personal life and my work life are kind of blended and very mixed together so my to-do list sort of reflects that this time I actually put like an inspirational quote I suppose just to kind of remind myself of why I'm working hard um, this year I put the universe wants me to be happy I only limit myself and of course some of the personal and work goals I want to achieve are under that and I've removed some of them because they're private but um, for example it could be anything from I read more become a yogi again and um, host an event. I would really love to host an event with a brand this year. Um, have a meetup. Uh, double my salary for example every year since I've been in New York I've wanted to double my salary each year and I've been doing that and it's been something I've actively work towards there is so much power in writing down your goals even if you're not um, a pen to paper person there's still a very powerful part of writing it down and setting those intentions of course it's not enough to just write them down we need to make the stepping stones and plan to reach those goals and that is why I have more lists I have monthly weekly and daily to do's and of course monthly is going to be basically things that I feel like I've been slacking on in the month but are, are going to take me more than a week to get around to or to address or to achieve or to um I don't know just um make progression on I suppose and again they're obviously going to contribute to my yearly goals but they're going to be a little bit more doable in a shorter amount of time so things like maintain and increase my work output by you know creating a new Instagram every day which is something I've been doing work out three times a week because I want to get fitter that's something I've been doing. Start doing content reports from my clients and sending those out when I feel like I've done well on a project. That's something I wanna address by the end of the month. So they generally are things that take a little bit more time to kind of get into the rhythm of. And I have my weekly goals, which are obviously a little bit smaller to do that contribute to my overall success of my monthly and in the end, my yearly goals. And then of course I have my to-do list, which is just my daily to-do list. It's a mix of work, it's a mixture of errands, grocery shopping, pick up whatever at the tailor. Um, it's stuff that needs like my immediate attention that I try and get done within a day or two. Also just helps me prioritize the stuff that really needs to be done as opposed to just doing what I feel like which I tend to do a lot and then the rest of the lists I have are generally work related I have ones for content and video ideas so that I never run out of ideas or if I'm on the train and I think of a really good idea for a video I write it down instantly and then it's obviously updated on my laptop for me to look at later most importantly as a freelancer I have a list of my clients that I've worked with 
For me, um, doing it on reminders is pretty manageable. You know, I don't have like an insane amount of clients I need to keep track of. I work with a couple of clients a month. Even if you're not a good bookkeeper, it is so important for you to always have a list on hand of the clients you worked with each month and how much they've paid you. And I love popping in into reminders because again, it's very quickly, I can see it at a glance. I can see how I'm doing on my salary. If you have a financial goal like I do at the end of the year, you know, I know um, with each month, like how much I really need to be earning. I keep mine super simple. I have one line for every single month, January, February, March, etc., etc., And I post every single client that I work for, whether it's a big job or small job and how much they owe me and what currency they paid me in. Really quick recollection and it just helps me keep track. Really helpful for my taxes at the end of the year also. And equally important, I have a line for my unpaid clients. So generally I have one admin day a week where I do invoices or one line containing the due date for that client and then the following month uh, when that date comes around I can kind of see like who has or hasn't paid me yet and if I need to follow up with anyone. But if you're trying to stay on top of your schedule and just your workload and project management, anything like that, I would definitely recommend another free type program that I use. It sits in my browser and uh, I basically just have a free account. It's called Airtable and I would really recommend it. It's fantastic for content creators. Just have uh, my Airtable set to the calendar views and I have two calendars that I use. I have a content calendar and an events calendar. I generally only use the events calendar during busy, busy months of the year. Like for example, at the moment, it's autumn, winter press season. So there's a lot of, um, press events that I need to go to. The main way that I use it is um, through my content calendar and this is where all of my business meetings go, um, my content deadlines, when I need to film a video, edit a video, schedule, you know, an upload for a video, um, anything content related definitely goes in here. If I have an Instagram that needs to be up on a specific date, this just helps me see what my month is going to look like so that I don't overbook myself. You can expand any of these items and add more information. So I might add the address of the business meeting I need to be at and the time and when it's gonna end, or I could use the attachment um, facility. So if you are scheduling an upload for an Instagram or something like that, and you have a lot of that type of content to keep track of, you can actually upload that exact file so you know exactly what photo needs to be uploaded on that day. Just a little handy thing to note. The fact that I have the app too is really handy. It's not as, you know, nice as using it on uh, my desktop. Calendar view is a little different. Your events kind of come up more as like a list, but um, it's still handy to have at the touch of a button. That's what I use to kind of stay on track of my schedule, I suppose but I also use one program to keep on top of my finances. It's one that was highly requested by you guys, so I thought I'd throw it into this video. I actually use Bullet Accounting, another free program. I actually now am upgraded to the business or like, you know, the one that you pay like a small fee for. I use it to create invoices because I think the templates are really beautiful. You can pick a couple of different formats. And I think it's just a lot more professional when your invoices have a consistent look and they're branded in line with the rest of your content. So I have some kind of old headers here that I don't use that often, but I think that they still look good on my invoices. And I have a little, icon profile picture, I guess you could say, just in case, you know, the person forgets who I am, you know, <laughs> but I just like how it looks. And um, yeah, you just create a template. You can put all of your banking information at the bottom. I usually have my uh, banking details on my PayPal, uh, my address, you know, the fee that they need to pay me, just everything that needs to be on a standard invoice. It's really great because sometimes I deal with abroad clients and I have a different template for each currency. So I usually have like a euro template, a you know pound sterling template. This means that I don't have to keep going back and changing the banking information. I just have them saved and I can use them whenever I want. When you're done creating your invoice, you have the options to email it directly to a specific email. Or if you just click client view and download PDF, you can just download uh, the exact PDF of your invoice and you know save it to your computer and send it off as an attachment in an email. That's what I usually do. And um, yeah, it's just a really nice, clean organized way of doing my invoices anytime you're setting yourself up with this kind of stuff like getting on top of your life and your schedule it's going to take a couple of hours on investment but it pays off so much and it really returns on like how much your uh, productivity output is and how much more likely you are to reach your goals and if you're not really willing to put that time aside to get shit done then you have to kind of ask yourself like 
do I deserve those things if I'm not willing to like put in a little bit of work that can really change everything. And of course, if any of you guys have been interested in maybe starting a website of any kind recently, whether it be a blog or an e-business or e-shop, be sure to check out squarespace.com slash Tarmer. You can use my discount Tarmer for 10% off their billing services. But what they do is they basically take the difficult part of creating a website out and they make it super easy. So you pick a beautiful template and you just personalize it to make your own unique beautiful little corner of the internet so I will leave that information down below and thank you to them for sponsoring this video great to be working with them again I hope you enjoyed all of my tips for increasing productivity and just reaching your goals good luck and I'll see you guys in the next one Mwah.